When I woke up, the hardest thing for me to accept wasn't really being in a wheelchair. Uh, the hardest thing for me to accept was losing my independence and giving up my racing career at such an early stage in the game. My name is Mario Bonfani. I'm the owner of KES Industries, and I'm a quadriplegic professional race car driver. So as a kid, I started with BMX, and I've always wanted to push the limit in everything I've ever done. So naturally, I graduated from BMX into motocross, and from there I kept progressing through the ranks until I eventually obtained my professional license racing street bikes when I was 16 years old, and then um, unfortunately had an interesting incident on a bicycle and ended up going through the lip on the jump and Superman diving into the next lip in front of me, like just basically going over the bars and head first into the next lip. So yeah, after that I went to the hospital and ended up fusing my neck in the front and the rear. Had a halo in the whole whole deal and wasn't really coherent for the first two weeks. Once I actually came to and actually figured out what was going on and learned that I was now a, technically a quadriplegic, I didn't even know what a quadriplegic was um, at that point. They said racing, living on my own, um, being independent was completely out of the question. Uh, from there I just kept thinking to myself that these people are kind of crazy and that's just I'm going to figure it out kind of thing. But the reality was is I really couldn't do a lot of the things that they were telling me. So they told me I wasn't ever going to be able to race anything again and that was the first thought I had was how am I going to race, what am I going to race and how can I still achieve the goals that I set out as a kid and continue chasing my passion. So um, that's when my brain started thinking of different possibilities of maybe I'm going to race a spaceship, maybe I'll race a helicopter, maybe it's going to be this, whatever. I didn't really care, I just wanted to go fast and have fun. I ended up purchasing a go-kart and it was the cheapest avenue for me to go as far as getting back on track. Uh, I sold some stuff to get it and I needed a proof of concept as far as what I came up with in my mind, how I can control a vehicle uh, at speed or proper speed. and. Um, with using the muscle groups that I still left with as a quadriplegic. I drew the first set of plans on a piece of paper, pen and pencil or whatever, and then started looking into different ways of actually producing the controls at a different level as far as CNC and such. And found a 3D modeling program online that I was able to use a free program and basically drew them out on there and took them to different CNC shops and they were telling me that they needed dimension drawings and the program that I found didn't have that to offer. So I started looking online to purchase CAD and that's when another thumbnail popped up with SolidWorks and I had no idea what SolidWorks even was. So I clicked on the video and I was like, holy cow, this is like the program I've been using but on steroids basically with way better and just way more options and the ability to do whatever I wanted to do with it essentially. So I looked into that program which SolidWorks and started learning that it was a little bit more expensive than I had anticipated spending originally, but um, sold some stuff and uh, worked out a deal with my grandparents and got a loan from them. And they helped me purchase half the software, I purchased the other half and then ended up paying them off and started playing with SolidWorks. Yeah, so I've never been an engineer, but um, I've always been a problem solver pretty much all my life. And being a quadriplegic, I was given quite a few problems to solve as far as trying to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish and achieve what I wanted to achieve with the certain limitations, as I guess you'd say, that I was given. Not being able to use my hands in certain different muscle groups is the reason that I had to design the controls the way that I designed them, was because being that I don't have grip, I had to figure out how to attach my hands to the wheel so I don't lose grip of the wheel for one, and then also be able to rotate it with limited arm function and arm strength without different muscle groups. Like I said, I was still able to twist the throttle, so I figured, all right, there's one elimination, got to twist the throttle, and then the left-hand side, I still have muscles to push forward for the brake, and that's how you push it with the pedal, so I figured that's the best way to do it, and that's where gravi gravity is naturally pushing you, so push for brake, twist the throttle, pull back to upshift, push forward to downshift, just like a typical sequential shifter in a race car would do. And then once I got SOLIDWORKS, I was able to actually put those into actual testing. 
um, on the computer with simulation and such. Yeah, so originally when I was looking into purchasing the software, I found Go Engineer, which was uh, locally based at that time, uh, Santa Clara company, and found they sold SolidWorks, so I purchased my software through them. And because of the relationship that I've had from that purchase, or initial purchase, I continued getting emails about um, their new printing abilities with metal and the new stuff that they were doing with different composites and such. So I reached out to them for being able to actually print on a, a higher scale and seeing what I can actually do with their, their 3D printing metal stuff and different composites that they're saying that they can do on their emails and began the conversation as far as um, how we can possibly work together on the new controls that I designed. Been able to produce a couple prototypes. Being that the Stratus printers are so precise that I can change parts and do things and rapid produce them to where I can see if they actually do function the way that I want them to function and need them to function. This year I've basically focused on universally making the controls adaptable to pretty much anyone's vehicle. Basically an able-bodied person or someone that's differently able to wanted to use them together. They're now on a quick release system because of the advancement in the technology of 3D printing and the ability to make parts in a new way and um, allow me to think in a new way to design the parts to be able to do what they need to do. So I've had a passion for racing all my life and I wasn't going to let this certain setback stop me and I've had quite a few hurdles to hop over but I've been a problem solver my entire life and I've found there's a lot of ways to do one specific task and with the technology advancements and everything else that's available nowadays, there's no excuses on why we can't do anything.